With that said, I would now like to uh, introduce to you uh, Mr. Dan Ammon, and it is our great pleasure to have him speak with us today. Mr. Ammon. Thank you, Tom. Uh, good morning, everybody. Man, quiet crowd. Good morning, everybody. Um, and thank you, Secretary Chertoff, for your insightful remarks. Uh, I think they were exactly, uh, exactly on point. Uh, we at General Motors are just really pleased to sponsor and participate in the second annual Billington Automotive Cybersecurity Summit here in Detroit. And I really think it's a great opportunity to exchange ideas and best practices about this vital issue in our industry. As I think you know, this summit brings together experts and thought leaders from many sectors to examine the state of automotive cybersecurity and to explore ways to strengthen our mutual cyber defenses. In many ways, our future depends upon it. At General Motors, one of our visions for the future is one of zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. And the key enablers to make that vision a reality include electrification, connectivity, and autonomous vehicles. As we continue to develop our autonomous vehicle program, safety is paramount, just like it is in everything that we do. And that's a commitment that comes from the very top of the company, and it runs throughout General Motors, in every facility, at every factory, and across every function, from safety in the workplace to safety on the roads. And for our customers, that means providing the safest products possible, including the strongest cybersecurity. In today's connected vehicles, safety and cybersecurity are one and the same. From the data flowing through vehicle systems to the information connecting the vehicle to the outside world, security is safety. Cybersecurity becomes ever more important as this industry moves towards autonomous vehicles. And that's because the stakes for autonomous vehicles are much higher. AVs are poised to have a major positive impact on our world in terms of improved safety, affordability, and availability of transportation. Huge positive potential benefits on society. However, one single cyber incident could stymie their deployment altogether or at least delay it for a long time. Self-driving cars will not be accepted if people don't trust them to transport them safely. So we must, as an industry, work together to prevent security breaches and thwart bad actors, especially because the public and policymakers would view a major cybersecurity incident involving any one of us as an incident involving all of us. At General Motors, we view cybersecurity as a shared concern with the rest of the industry. Our collective customers are best served by industry-wide collaboration and solutions. We recognize that cyber threats are continually evolving and attackers will seek to circumvent even the most robust defense systems. And attacks are growing more sophisticated every single day. It's important that we work together as an industry to protect against these attacks, to detect incidents, and to mitigate their consequences. And this battle is ongoing. We are designing against a rapidly evolving threat developed by those who work in darkness with substantial resources and a passion to wreak havoc. It's crucial that we invest the time, the money, and the talent to stay ahead of these threats. And at General Motors, we're doing just that. Jeff Massimilla, who's here today, leads our broad, talented global cybersecurity team, which stretches across multiple facets of our business. At Cruise Automation, where we undertake all of our autonomous vehicle develop, development, Tim Piastrelli, who's also here today, has assembled and leads a world-class team of the very best security professionals in the business. Tim and Jeff will both be appearing on panels at this summit and will share more about our approach to cyber. Overall, our cybersecurity organization is global in reach, 
and comprehensive in scope. We look at threats from end to end, from the back office to all aspects of the vehicle itself. We have re-engineered our vehicle development process to include cybersecurity from the earliest stages of vehicle design, putting multiple layers of protection in place to defend the vehicle and its systems. We've developed threat monitoring, detection, and response capabilities, and we have a robust incident response plan, which we constantly test, rework, and refine. We have our own internal red team, which conducts regular penetration testing on all of our vehicle programs. We also rely on third-party expertise and the research community through our coordinated disclosure program. In terms of our autonomous vehicle program, one key to its safety and cybersecurity is that we have an approach of continuous and rapid iteration. We've taken the same approach with the overall AV program development, by the way, which allows our AV system to learn on the fly with each iteration of the technology. And taking that same approach to security results in an improved safety and security system with each new iteration, giving us the best possible chance to stay ahead of the threats. Another key to our AV security is vehicle integration. This enables our defense in depth approach. And by integration, what I mean is that our cruise AV is designed from the ground up to be an autonomous vehicle. Unlike some others, we haven't just added autonomous hardware and software to a conventional vehicle program. AV is integrated into the vehicle from the very beginning. As we continue testing our AV fleet in complex real world situations, we evaluate cybersecurity and monitor for anomalies to verify that we're minimizing that risk. Our three pillar approach to cybersecurity, defense in depth, monitoring and detection, and incident response aligns with the safety first approach that we're taking with self-driving vehicles in general. We are also acutely aware that our industry as a whole must succeed if we're to indeed to transition to an autonomous future. And as I said, a failure by one will be viewed as a failure by all. That's why General Motors actively participates in industry-wide efforts to develop and implement strategies to reduce cyber risk, including the Auto ISEC, which is chaired by Jeff Massimilla. The Auto ISEC identifies trends and cyber threats and focuses industry efforts to safeguard vehicle systems and networks. It is developing best practices to address automotive cybersecurity challenges, and we are committed to operating in accordance with those best practices. Our collaboration efforts also include regular communication with NHTSA, FTC, and other government agencies, and our own security vulnerability disclosure program. With this program, we provide outside researchers a clearly defined process to find vulnerabilities in our systems and vehicles, and to alert us when they do. And it's amazing how good they are at it. To date, more than 500 researchers have participated in the program, and they have helped us identify more than 700 vulnerabilities, and, in, and as part of that, strengthened our cybersecurity in that process. And we're about to take this program a step further. We're gonna add a bug bounty component to our disclosure program. That means offering a bounty or cash payment per bug found. We're gonna fly a small group of skilled researchers familiar with our systems to Detroit. We'll show them the products, the programs, and the systems for which we plan to establish these bug bounties. Then we'll put them in a comfortable environment. We'll ply them with pizza, Red Bull, whatever they might need, and we'll turn them loose. And when the trip's over, we're gonna send them home with hardware to continue their research. This program will add another strong component to our vulnerability testing, including in-house employees, third-party contractors, and these independent researchers. Collaboration and partnerships will prove to be effective weapons in building defenses against cyber attacks. There are very real benefits to building partnerships across the automotive ecosystem and with other industries such as aerospace and defense, and consumer electronics. For this to work, everyone has to work together proactively to be a part of that solution. 
Another key element we need to move the industry forward is talent. The talent shortage on the front lines of the cybersecurity wars is real. There are hundreds of thousands of jobs open in cybersecurity. In fact, this country faces a shortage in virtually every field involving the STEM subjects of science, technology, engineering, and math, just as we're facing a future where about four out of every five jobs will be STEM related. The need to grow our engineering and technical talent applies directly to the cybersecurity field as well. And if we don't have the right people to make it work, it simply won't work. This is a crucial time in the automotive industry, which is undergoing a transformation that hasn't been seen in more than 100 years. We need STEM talent. We need engineers, developers, cyber experts, and we need them now. General Motors is committed to STEM education and the need to promote science and technology to students as young as grades K through eight, especially girls, to attract them to careers in engineering and other STEM fields. We invested more than $10 million in STEM education in 2017, and we will spend at least that again this year. We also have an army of employees volunteering their time in various STEM programs and schools, presenting, teaching, mentoring, and most importantly, just getting involved. And you have to invest the time and effort if you wanna make that kind of impact. You have to get out there and show kids why this is the greatest industry on earth and why this is the greatest time to be in this industry. Whether we're investing in our children's education or in the cybersecurity of our self-driving vehicles, in both cases, we are investing in the future. Both of these investments are hugely necessary and the sooner we make them, the better off we will be. And I think that's something that we can all agree on and something that we can all work together to make happen. We all must continue to leverage our collective strength and our institutional knowledge to move the industry forward into this new age. I'd like to thank Billington Cybersecurity for bringing us here today to discuss these important issues. And I'd like to thank all of you for your attention and for your commitment to being part of the solution. Thank you very much.